Well, hello everyone. It is certainly a pleasure to be in your space again and to come on behalf of the Church of God of Prophecy here at Hawksville, better known as Hatch, to bring you some highlights of what would be taking place right here at our local church. We have with us Sister Raquel. Both of us represent the public relations ministries here at this local church. And we just want to share with you the goodness of God. We want to share with you where God is taking us and what he is doing in our lives. So Raquel, share with us some more. Well, Sister Eden, it is such a delight to be here. And when I tell you I am excited, I am excited. This is the time of our church season I look forward to most. Because Sunday coming, I mean, everybody have to take this into consideration. Put this in your calendar. Mark this wherever you need to mark this. This Sunday here at the Healing and Transformation Center is First Fruit Sunday and Vision, Vision Casting. Casting. Oh, wow. I am excited. I don't know about you, Sister Edith. I am very excited and blessed to be a part of this yet another year. So for the past three years since 2019, the Lord has laid on the heart of our senior pastor, Minister Stephen Seifert, to lead the church in this time after the 21 days of prayer and fasting that we go through corporately with our international church. We end it every year on the last Sunday in January, what we call our Vision Casting Sunday, our Celebration Sunday, and a time when we give our first fruits unto the Lord. And so, Kel, tell us more about the Vision Casting Sunday. Well, as we know in Habakkuk 2 and 2 verses, 2 and 3 rather, it is imperative for us. It says, write the vision and make it plain. And pastor has taken that into consideration. He ensures that as a church, we understand what the vision is, what is going to be propelling us forward, what are going to be our priorities and our mission and ministry focus for 2023. And so we are delighted because we are coming together to grow together. And so this is very important to us because vision is what directs us as a corporate body. And so I know pastor is locked and loaded after 21 days of fasting. We know that he has heard from the Lord. And so we can tell, you know, by the fruits in our church, how this has profited the church so much. And so I encourage you once again, Sister Edith, we want everybody to be in the church on Sunday. Oh, definitely. We are sending out this call to those here in Grand Bahama, our friends, the friends of Hatch, who like to come time and time again to visit with us, to worship with us on Sunday mornings here at 11 a.m. This is where it will all be happening. This is where we'll hear the word of God, the word that the Lord has given, like Kel says, the pastor for the year, the vision, as we're under the theme for the year, moving forward confidently in Christ. And this is something that all of us in Christendom should want to do, move forward confidently in Christ, knowing what we want to do, knowing where we want to go and knowing where the spirit is leading us. But one of the most important elements in our service on Sunday morning is our first fruit. Yes. It has always been a blessing when the people of God come together. And all last year, um, well, the later part of last year, our pastor has been reminding us and putting out little nuggets, reminding us of our, our commitment to our first fruit liberal offerings. And may I remind us and stick a pin here that our first fruit offerings that we give does not go to our pastor mm -hmm. or any of our leaders. It steers our church financially for the rest of the year because we are a community-oriented church. We are a church that loves to help and reach out. And if we don't put into the storehouse of God, we don't have anything to give to anyone else. And so for the past three years, the Lord has laid it on our pastor's heart to teach and share about first fruit, the importance of putting God first. When we put God first, 
God puts us first. He sure does. You know, we see it in Matthew 6 and 33. It says, seek ye first the kingdom of yeah. God. And so even when we look at Proverbs and Proverbs 3, sorry, yes, Proverbs 3, yeah. 9 through 10, you know, it speaks to honoring God with our substance. And, yes. you know, Minister Edith, I can tell you, I have my own personal testimony with first fruit. You know, pastor started this in 2019. And I recall in 2020, you know, when COVID came yeah. around, and I remember I had paid my first fruits. And I remember saying to pastor, when actually I was admitted in Austin, I said, pastor, send me those scriptures. Mm -hmm. I said, because those scriptures, they, we know the word of God. God watches over his word to perform it. And so I was delighted when I received those scriptures and I repeated those scriptures and I reminded Amen. God of his word to me. Yes. And in two days time, I met people on the COVID ward and yes. left them there yeah. on the COVID ward to because God I told glory. God, yes. I gave him my first fruit and he said, when I give the first, he can take care of the rest. Amen. And so healing is a part of that. Yes. And so whatever it is that you need, honor God with your substance. If you have first fruit, so this Sunday, whatever it is, make that sacrificial gift and you come into the house of the Lord this Sunday and you honor God with your first fruit. And I can tell you, I can assure you, I can guarantee you, Amen. because this is the word of God, that God will in turn bless you for that sacrificial giving that you will give on Sunday. And you know, Cal, the thing about first fruit offerings is that you can pay it on behalf of your business. Pay it on behalf of your family personally. You know, so God honors when you put him first. The word of God says that when we give and we give liberally, God will in turn give to us the same measure mm -hmm. that we give. But when we receive from God, it would be the good measure, pressed down, shaken, shaken together, together, running yes. over. And this is something that we all need. And it's not just financial needs because some of us have money, but there are the things that we need. And so God, who is our supplier of every need that we have, he is able to do this. And what he wants us to do is trust his word. When we give, his word said, we will get in return. And so we're prepared every year since 2019 mm -hmm. to sacrifice, to think about what the good offering the good and liberal sacrifice that we would give unto the kingdom of God here at the Church of God of Prophecy in Hawksville. Well, Minister Edith, once again, I want to remind those who are watching by YouTube or our Facebook channel, we want you to know that you are invited to be a part of this service. We have vision casting, we have first fruit, and it's Celebration Sunday because yes. we're celebrating the goodness of God. And so we encourage you to come out. Our service starts at but be here from 1045. Make mm -hmm. sure you get a seat in the house. Don't come late. <laughs> be here at 1045 a.m. And someone will be here to welcome you. And trust me, the Spirit of the Lord God, He will be here in the house and the Word Amen. will go forth. And so we're encouraging you. We're inviting you. We welcome you to be a part of this ministry and this ministry service on Sunday. So it's all about first fruit giving. And I'm excited about it. Oh, definitely. It's about vision, vision casting. casting. Yeah. I'm excited about it. Yeah. So it's a lot for us in this congregation to celebrate. Amen. And for the wider Grand Bahama, wherever you are, if you're not able to get into the house, tune in to us on Facebook and YouTube and get this word. Get this word in. Because I know our pastor is ready after 21 days of fasting. Trust me, there is a, a word, word for you. Amen. And I just want to send a shout out and remind our viewers that watch us every Sunday morning, mm -hmm. um, no longer than Friday gone. We met up some, some persons from the United States that told us that we're doing a wonderful job. They're excited. They're always waiting and watching those in Turks and Caicos, those in our family islands, and those even in Canada, around the world, wherever we can see this. I just want you to know that we appreciate you tuning in. So go like, subscribe, and share our Facebook page and our YouTube page. And so for those who want to give, I just want to remind you that you are sowing into a good soil. Yes. Good soil. And God is going to reward you for the gift of love that you give to this ministry. 
Sister Edith, before we wrap up, I do want to remind persons, because we do have international viewers, yeah. that no matter where you are in the world, you still have an opportunity to give. And so we have different accounts where you can do direct deposit, where you can right. do PayPal, mm -hmm. whatever it is, we will find a means by which to give. Because we know that you are excited just as we are, and you want to be able to sow into this ministry. Because like Sister Edith said, you know, we are always, our outreach ministry is very vibrant in the Hawksville and Lewis mm -hmm. Yard yes. and Wellington Heights and Sunrise and all of these various subdivisions we are in these areas and these communities year round and the needs are great yes. within these communities so we're asking you to help us help others in our community and you know the word of God tells us when we do this to the least of these we do, do this unto, unto God yes. and so we invite you once again we're encouraging you through the word of God to give liberally to this ministry and to be a part of the service. If you're on the island of Grand Bahama, if you need transportation, call us here at the church. We have a bus available. We will get you and we want to get you into the service. And so God bless you, Minister Edith. I am excited. I can't wait until Sunday. I wish I could stay in I church all am, night. <laughs> I am excited because I know what the Lord has in store for us. We've been praying, we've been fasting, we've been sowing. And so we are waiting for the great harvest that the Lord has promised us when we give to him. Again, not just financially. There are some people that need healing. There are some people that need deliverance. There are some people that need a job. There are people that need their businesses to start. Whatever the need, we are here to pray with you and for you. And I want us to believe and know that God is a God of his word. He will perfect the things that, concerns. that concerns us. So God bless you. And tune in on Sunday morning, Lord's willing, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And if you're on the island, you can come in and worship with us. Good singing, good praising, good praying, good preaching here at the Church of God of Prophecy Healing and Transformation Center, Hawksville, Grand Bahama. Yeah, God bless you, Sister yes. Edith, and we look forward to Sunday. And if you don't know God in the pardon of your sins, the best gift you could give is your heart. God bless you, and see you on Sunday.